Hello and welcome to Twin Door Gaming. We are back with Dank RPG, and it's time to get ourselves a lovely gear salvage station. So when I left you last time, it was down the bottom of a hole, and I was talking about getting. I got some gold, so I could do the salvage station. One thing I am going to need is uh, sand for the TNT, and there's a little bit over here. I was thought. Yes, it's a very rocky sort of outcrop, but here we did got enough. Good, good, good. I can't remember how much I need, but it's been nice to have some windows too, so I'll grab some extra while I'm at it. Now, uh, you may not know this if you haven't played too much of the... If you've been playing a lot at 12.2 because all you do is mod packs, which is what I most often do, uh, you might not know about this helpful, helpful kelp stuff. You can actually use this for fuel in your furnace, which can be handy. Oh, just scoop up. And it's very plentiful, obviously, as you can see here. Ooh, there's some iron if I needed it. Yeah, that's probably enough. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. I probably don't need the kelp because I've now got a lot more coal and it's just sitting around like this. Bunk. Good for experience levels. Of course. For your everlasting abilities. Every time I say that I think everlasting gob stopper because Willy Wonka is like the best movie ever. Anyway, not the new one. The old one. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, so we got I cooked up on my gold, so let's get busy. Have I made furnaces already? No, that's okay, I've got enough. So I am going to need three furnaces. One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna have to make TNT, but I never remember how to do it. Oh, okay, that's that's simple enough. I got that. All right, so it's TNT, three furnaces, five gold, and bingo, gear salvage station. Now it's on. So very simple. Capacitors are good. Um, how do you make those again? Can I make one of those? Um, oh, I can. Where's my iron? I've got one over here. Oh, okay. I should make a couple of capacitors. Because, yeah, they boost your returns. The better the capacitor, the better the return. But some of these capacitors are, like, super expensive. I mean, straight up gold blocks. And then, yeah, it just gets worse from there. Diamond blocks? Yeah. But let's cook some more of that up. We can make one at least, so that will be good. So by popping that in there, I will now increase. See, put inside repair station, decrease fuel and consumption, or you put it in the gear salvage to increase your outputs, etc. etc. So we've got that. I want now want some equipment that I don't want anymore. What are, what are the junk ones? So d depending on what uh, rarity of the item depends on what you'll get out of it. Oh, I can't remember what... It, well, I obviously don't want these stays. Physical damage 10. Yeah, no, so that one's no good. Oh, that one I can't use yet. A sword. Yeah. Rune sword. Wisdom, strength, wisdom. That'll be enough to demonstrate, I think. Oh, yeah, and there's more in here. Okay, let's plonk this down. 
I'm not going to use the crossbow or the bow because I prefer the staves. Okay. Now, did I show you what you do with the bronze coins? Oh, I can't remember. But 50 bronze coins is equal to a silver coin. So if you put that in your venery, it'll automatically convert. Bing! Like so. Now I have a silver coin. So 48. I need two more of those. And did I have any more? Yep. So by bringing that down, I'll get a silver and leftover. Like so. Good. Good stuff. Ooh. I have enough copper to make a copper chest too. Let's. Ugh, so much to do. I oh, I forgot just how good that 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 expedition went for for kitting me out. Let's do that other capacitor. I am totally gonna forget about it. Okay, so there we go. Both the repair station and the salvage station have it. So goodbye, Bo. Uh, Bo Vampire. I'm just. Shift click, it will put it straight in there, and now it will convert it to ore. So, because it's rare, I'll get rare ore. Seems pretty obvious, hey? Bing! Um, and just like so. So I can fill it up, and it will work through them one by one. And give me the respective ores that I need. And all of a sudden I've got super room in my chest because I, <laughs> I go through and sort all the stuff. Don't want that, want this, don't want that. Chuck it out, chuck it out and convert it all over and it's happy times. Like so. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what do I need for the gear bag actually? That would be a nice thing. Um, here we go, so... Auto salvage bag. Did I mention those? You wear these and what you set it for uh, will automatically get <coughs> uh, crushed up for you. Turned into ores, which is very helpful. Uh, what does that take? Oh, just another capacitor and a furnace. I should probably put that on too. And then there's the gear loot bag. I'm not sure if I've got enough iron for that as well. Which is very helpful, again, for not taking up space in your inventory. So there we go, we've got that. I can now convert that into fuel just by popping it in. Like so. So just remember, you don't actually need to put the item. So this is just an uncommon item. I don't need to put uncommon ore in to fuel. It's just purely about filling the tank, basically. So now it will repair up to a level of 775. Uh, we'll see how much the sword uses up. Shouldn't use all of that because it's only a common, uh, uncommon weapon. But it might do. Let's see. Yeah, see. It barely used 250. But now my sword's all fixed. And I can juice up my staff. And it's a good time to check out. Oh yeah, I wanted to really fix this up. That will chew through a lot of fuel. What else is low? I think I'll, I'll do all three of these. But we'll start with this, the most common and work our way up. <laughs> yeah. Oop, not the salvage station. <laughs> I do not want to throw them away. Uh, I might put this legendary ore in here and see how much that fuels up. Oh, it's going to fill it. Nice. Look at that. Chunky. Well, let's finish off the staff. And again, I can just throw all of those in there. And it should work from top to bottom. So the boots just jump the queue. But now they're full. Barely touched it. It'll This will drain it totally. Pants are full. Again, that took a bunch more. Staff shouldn't take too much because it's almost full. Yeah, not a lot. But now let's see. We got 3,445. Let's see how much I actually get this improved. Wow, filled it. That's I didn't expect it to get that much. Considering it's mythical. Oh, wow. 
nice. I guess it was a legendary ore, but still. So that is making my gear a lot healthier. Bingo, bingo. Nice work. Okay, so yeah, there we go. That, that's pretty simple as it goes. Uh, now we wanted another capacitor. We've got 12 iron. Uh, what's more important, auto salvage or... Probably, I, I'd go for the gear loot bag first. Because, I want, um, yeah, I want to make sure I've got that. Because it's got enough room, the room you'll save on automatically salvaging will be less than the room you'd save having a big gear bag. So if you're having to, you know, count, count your iron ingots, what can I afford to do, uh, then definitely go for that first. Where are we again? What was it? Yeah, here we are. So bingo, now I grab that, and if you have a look at it, actually let's get that cooking, oh that's right, I had a couple more, yeah I can do both, uh, ba -ba. yeah look, if you have a look, whoop, that's a lot of extra space, so basically now anytime I pick up one of, one of the tools from the mine and slash mod, it will automatically go into the loot bag instead of into my inventory. Uh, so that's going to save me a lot of space for all this uh, ores and things. Very important in this mod pack because there's so many things uh, to pick up. Uh, that will make things a lot easier to cope with. Uh, I'll show you a copper chest because that's simple. And remember, you can make a silver one. And uh, what's the other one again? Is it diamond? Yeah, yeah, diamond, gold, iron, copper, silver. So you're your different sizes and stuff. Obsidian chest, crystal chest. That one's going to be big, I guess. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've just made a simple copper chest. And I plunked it over here. And you can see, it's the external size of a single chest, but the internal side of a double chest. It's a TARDIS chest. It's bigger on the inside. Now, let me demonstrate. I'll make the gears... Yeah, the, 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 the auto salvage bag. So this this one's interesting because yeah, the settings means I've got to make bigger bags to do bigger stuff. So that one's easy. And it just means the higher capacitors for the higher auto salvage. Now it gets to a point pretty early on where you're really not going to be using common stuff. Just because the weight of stuff that you get of better quality is just too much. So that's pretty good. I, but there's still a lot. It's a lot longer before common stuff isn't that useful. Get the, get the, 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 the flow of things. I should start memorizing some of these recipes, but you know. So there we go, auto salvage bag. Now this one's tricky because it's not holding it here. It's not putting it in your uh, quick slots. It's actually something that you wear. See, salvage bag slot. So uh, yeah, if you don't do that, it won't work. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, there's a few mobs out there. Mm, mm, well, I guess I've got a full sword and full armor. i just got to watch out for the phantoms, I guess. Don't, not that they're that difficult. Okay. So, what's this? A common zombie. Cool. If he drops anything... Now, you'll notice in my inventory I've got 20... Is that 22? I can't read it. 22. Uh, common ore. Let's see if he drops me something so I can demonstrate. Be a good zombie. No, nah, he's not going to drop any gear for me. All right, what about you, mister? Uh, 
What is that? Try force of wisdom shard. Oh, okay. Never seen one of those before. Well, neither of those mobs was helpful. What about you? Uncommon spider. Well, as long as I drop some gear in so I can demonstrate the effectiveness of my recent... Okay, cool. So, she's dropped a sword. Let's see what happens. Where did it go? It... Oh, must have dropped an uncommon spider. Must have dropped a common item because you'll notice instead of twenty-two common ore, I now have twenty-four common ore. So it automatically converted to a uh, to, to ore. So that's what the auto salvage bag does. If it's not good enough, it just gets ditched. Hey, am I going to be able to beat this one up without it blowing up? No, because of the. Uh, I only really know how to tackle them when it's on flat ground. Okay, so yep, that, that's how it works. If that sword the spider dropped had been uncommon, it would have gone into my in, uh, bag. Because it ugh, these traders. Not that I like doing that, but maybe they'll just be able to help. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> Here's a zombie. You'll be good for me, won't you? Uncommon zombie. What are you going to drop? Nothing helpful. We got another orange dot over here. Somebody's hiding under the tree, are they? Yes. Hmm. Don't want to fall in the hole. I didn't see where they dropped, but it just got converted to common ore. There we go. Yeah, that's a good enough demonstration. It wouldn't be nice if they dropped something I could put in my loot. That would have gone in my loot bag, but you'll just have to trust me on that. So very important items for just simplifying the stuff that you do. That's uncommon. I, sometimes this doesn't work, but we'll try it. Yay! It worked. See? There we go. I just threw my uncommon stuff on the ground and when I picked it up, I went straight in my loot bag. Should have... Whoops, sorry. I just punched my mic. Because uh, I'm waving around, gesturing wildly. Not that anybody can see. So, very important elements. Getting that loot bag. What I've got now is pretty much your, your basic setup. The, what you need to get things happening. I've got the salvage station. I've got the repair station. I now have a loot bag and an auto salvage bag. That means my expeditions can be longer without filling up and spending a lot of time in the field ditching stuff. Everything I get mine and slash can be basically kept and reutilized if it's because obviously you can only wear so many pieces of armor and there's only so many going to be better you can only wield so many tools but now because i have those th those two items the salvage bag and the gear loot bag i can run around chop up as many mobs as i like and it takes a lot longer to fill uh my inventory because obviously all of that space which is double my regular inventory here, not including quick bar, uh, but double my inventory so I can carry the, that many items. So obviously that's a great boon. Uh, but also, I don't have to worry about it being clogged up with the really useless stuff I'm definitely not going to be wearing. I don't even have to look at it to know I'm not going to be wearing it if it's common. So that is going to be turned into this ore for me. If I get huge piles of this ore then I can always convert it like so to make the pile less so obviously that's going to make the whole thing running around so much easier now I'm still going to be filling up with these ores and stuff and some of these coins but that's where getting a regular backpack is going to make it even better uh, I just need 
to get some wool and leather, enough wool and leather to, to make that happen. Uh, considering I don't even have a bed yet, hence the blurry purples around the edge of my screen, uh, the, I'm a little ways off on that. But I think you can make wool from string. I think... Uh, let me check... Cotton plants. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the other thing is, you know, if I find enough spiders, that'll also take care of even on a rocky place like this. But I do not have anywhere near it enough at this point in time. Put the iron together. I don't like it all separate. So there we go. We're ready. I think this is a point before I get any further into the game where I probably want to leave <laughs> the island. Uh, if I can trash. Uh, everything I'm not going to be keeping or put it all in this uh, bag here which is probably the best way and you know what that could be a quick function way to do things let's try that now um, obviously I'm gonna have to sort through this because there's some stuff I put in the chest because I couldn't use it yet and then there's other stuff I put in the chest because I'm never going to use it so if I do this, it won't convert runes, I don't think. Uh, like, it won't put runes in the bag. That's a different bag altogether. Uh, grab. Oh, not filter. Sort. Everything. I should just be able to trash all the... Now, see these, um, these currency? That's what the currency bag is for. So all of that will go into it. And then there's a map bag as well. When you hit level 10, you can get maps. Uh, I'm not there yet. Okay, so now if I throw all of this out and then pick it back up again, it should deal with it for me. As in trash the common stuff and put the rest in my gear bag. Yeah, because like I said, I'm gonna. It, it, this is a good time to move house before I get too established here. It's just there's just not enough around to make this a really useful long term base. Okay, interestingly, it didn't put it in the bag, but it did trash. Heaps of it. I'll put that in the bag myself. I'm not sure why it didn't go in the bag at that particular point in time, but anyway. But that saves me a lot of time, doesn't it? Going through going, oh, well, that's common. Don't need that. Oh, that's common. I don't need that. Uh, my auto salvage has taken care of so much of it. Now, maybe it'd be useful, but quite frankly, even if it is, I'm going to be having better soon anyway so I don't mind l the loss at this point in time I've got enough good stuff to get me by cool so I've gone from basically on a, a double chest worth of stuff I'm now down to not even two two lines and a whole bunch of common ore now I can't put that in there see it'll only take the Good stuff. Only take the good stuff. Uh, but that's good. Okay. So I'll probably do a little more assessing that. Um, and yeah, next episode we'll be looking at a new place to live. But there we go. There's a gear salvage station. Uh, that's a pair. Remember, there is also the gear modification station. Uh, that requires diamonds. Uh, here we are and is useful for putting those runes and things onto your stuff that's later on it's not necessary at this point to really keep moving with things I'm not too bothered with that having the other two stations is really the key having this bag and that one is the key definitely later it's going to be very helpful if you get a currency bag and a map bag currency bag diamonds map bag and the pearls uh you put all of them together and you actually get a master bag but it doesn't just give you the 
like more space it actually has tabs on it where you, it will store currency maps and uh gear but also your ores it has a tab for ores and so it's really cool it the master bag is definitely something you want but you go you need the donors to get it and at the moment well we'll survive without it okay well thank you for watching this episode uh, I got through a bunch of good stuff for it's really the nuts and bolts of the background stuff rather than the exciting adventuring stuff but uh, once you've got this stuff sorted like I said you can go on big expeditions you're a lot longer out in the field get a lot better stuff which is always very welcome and it's the point of an RPG leveling up getting better stuff level up get better stuff level up get it and then you can crush bigger better things Thanks for watching this. Uh, next time it'll be a new. We'll sort of about a sort out a new new base, I guess. Okay.